Tola, the Director of Strategy and Innovation at Afrexim Bank. I wrote an email to our head office uh, based in Amsterdam and I told them, listen, we need to look at a technology that can move money on the mobile phone because the competition is doing this uh, and I think uh, it's no longer just about moving money, it's about a loyalty program. This uh, seminar is extremely important. As you know, trade finance is the bedrock of economic development uh, and therefore as we need to grow the economy, uh, we need to ensure that most of our practitioners are fully versed with all the various instruments uh, that bankers need as well as traders need to enable uh, a support traders on the continent, both to, to support intra-African trade but also to export uh, outside the continent as well. We're going to be a switch between the country's central banks. So that's the, the role we play. So you will see us just sitting between the central banks and we're trying to create an Africa switch for all central banks to link into. And that's what we're defining as direct participants. And then every other participant will have to use the central bank as their gateway. The Pan-African Payment uh, and Settlement Platform is going to be fundamental uh, to enhancing uh, uh, some of the key tenants of the AFCFTA, the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. One of the impediments today that exists for cross-border trade within the continent is an uh, adequate payment infrastructure that enables uh, traders uh, to trade cost-effectively uh, when we're trading amongst ourselves in the continent, uh, as well as providing reliability uh, across the system. So the Pan-African Payment and Settlement Platform, when it does launch, um, will be able to, to uh, deal with some of the obstacles that exist uh, in terms of payment infrastructure uh, challenges on the continent. So right now we're working with um, the central bank uh, governors and central bank teams in the West African Monetary Zone as well as the West African Monetary Institution Institute based out of Ghana. Uh, so we're still working with them and over the next three to four months we hope to finalize um, you know the legal documentation, uh, integrate the system, finalize testing and then move into uh, execution. So we believe in the next three to four months we should be able to launch this within the West African Monetary Zone uh, and once we are happy with the system we shall then roll out into the rest of Africa. We used to make phone calls between Nairobi and Uganda and they would be switched in London. And in West Africa, same thing. And anybody from West Africa who remembers Air Afrique, when you used to travel between, I think, Gabon and Niger, you'd go to France. But that's still happening with our money. So we've resolved a couple of issues, right? But we still have a long way to go. Some of the main challenges that financial institutions uh, will, will face today is really around liquidity. That is one. Uh, around ensuring that they can have instant payment. Because what happens today is customers who are trying to pay for goods and services across border, uh, we're finding that it, it, it'll take anything from five to 10 working days for payments to actually move across border. So with this payment uh, and settlement platform, uh, monies will be received instantaneously. So if I do a transaction uh, from, from Tanzania to Nigeria, within seconds, uh, the, 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 the sender would have uh, had their money deducted from their account and the receiver of the finances will receive their money and this will happen uh, within seconds. So this element of instant payment is a new trend and one that we believe uh, is fundamental to enhancing trade on the continent. Mm -hmm.